The line to see Santa was growing, and a children's choir was scheduled to sing carols in a mall outside of Portland, Oregon tonight. But when as many as 60 shots rang out, this scene of holiday Americana turned into terrified chaos. Witnesses say a gunman wearing a mask and camouflage was behind the deadly attack, and ABC's David Wright has the latest details. A shopping mall at Christmas time is supposed to be safe. It sounds like it may be an actual active shooter. So today, when witnesses first heard loud pops near the food court of this Portland area mall, some thought it was bursting balloons. Thing. We, we thought it was a balloon, yeah. and then we saw like little fire thingies, like so lights. Then the screaming, and everyone knew it was something far worse. All of a sudden, we heard a big bang. We covered our ears and we got down. And then all of a sudden, like a matter of five seconds later, we heard rapid fire, bang, 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 bang. And I just took off running. It all started shortly before 3.30 p.m. The mall busy with holiday shoppers. At Santa's workshop in Macy's, someone saw Santa drop to his knees. They weren't sure if he'd been hit or was just ducking for cover. Eyewitnesses say the gunman wore what appeared to be body armor and a mask and carried an assault rifle, which he fired in rapid bursts. My dad and mom were picking up my sister who works at Trend Shoes, and all of a sudden she just heard pow, 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 pow. And um, she thought maybe something was just falling because, I mean, we've lived here forever and we've never seen anything like this. Hundreds of mall workers and shoppers raced for the exits. Others trapped inside stores tweeted photos and updates, including this picture from inside a locked store. Another showed broken glass in the immediate aftermath. Some even called ABC's Portland affiliate K2 from inside the mall as the shooting unfolded. You saw two people shot? Mm -hmm. How serious? We had to bring sheets out of our back room for them. So it didn't look like they made it? No. All the while, Christmas carols eerily continued to blare. Peace on Earth in the midst of this rampage. It's awful to think that somebody would come in here and do that. Police now say three people are dead, including the gunman, at least four others injured. They're still going store to store, making sure no one is still trapped inside. I can confirm that we believe at this point that there was one and only one shooter involved and that that shooter is deceased. Uh, in addition to that, we have at least one patient who was uh, taken uh, taken from the mall with a traumatic injury and at least two that were deceased in addition to the shooter. Authorities confirmed tonight there were no shots fired by police inside the mall. The gunman took his own life. Eyewitnesses saw his body as they helped a woman flee. When she came down, we heard a gunshot behind that door. So we thought he had like followed us down there and then we let her in and she said that she saw a guy laying there dead with a gun beside him, and then we and we heard a gunshot before that. For law enforcement, a nightmare scenario. A shooting rampage in a mall packed with Christmas shoppers, and because it was late afternoon, there were dozens of kids after school hoping to see Santa. And there are also reports that a Christmas concert was underway right in the vicinity of the shooting. The idea that you can walk into a mall or any other location, a movie theater, and shoot people is very intoxicating for these people, and they love to be able to control life and death. Authorities have so far not identified the shooter or discussed any possible motive, but this incident now joins a grisly list of other senseless shootings. This year alone, 12 people killed, 58 wounded at this Aurora, Colorado movieplex in July. Six people killed at this Wisconsin Sikh temple in August. Now add to that this shopping mall. I believe people are going to be a little maybe more reticent to go to a mall uh, just because of the openness of those type of facilities. Uh, there'll be a lot of questions about the security at the mall, how you get in and out of the mall. This latest incident is likely to lead to heightened security measures at shopping centers across the country just in time for Christmas. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Los Angeles. And another bit of breaking news tonight. Uh, after a number of unsuccessful attempts, the United States has confirmed that North Korea has successfully launched a long-range rocket this evening. While the hermit dictatorship claims the launch of a weather satellite was their only motivation, both the U.S. and the U.N. have voiced concern that such a rocket could potentially carry a warhead as far away as Los Angeles. ABC's Martha Raddatz reports it's not as urgent threat tonight in terms of safety, but it is one more giant headache for President Obama.